The GMC Terrain is a bit player in the Epic cast that comprises the compact crossover segment. A perennial sales understudy, the GMC had a U.S. sales volume of 87,925 units in 2016, a drop in the bucket compared with top build stars such as the Honda CRV and the Ford Escape, which sold 357,335 and 307,069 tickets in the same year. GMC understands this and is confident that its individuality appeals to buyers who aren't easily swayed by the public opinion of the moment. Still, constant reinvention is the key to putting return customers in the seats, and the 2018 GMC Terrain is new from the foundation on up. Undoubtedly, the Terrain's indie strategy would not be possible without the economy of scale provided by the Chevrolet Equinox, its bigger selling mechanical sibling. For its part, the terrain focuses on premium features, styling, and specific chassis tuning. We're on the record with favorable impressions of the new 2018 Equinox, and that regard carries through to the terrain. Five minutes into our drive of a full boat, 2.0 liter Denali AWD, lingering memories of the first gen terrain vanished like Adrian's career. Seating and interior materials are on par with other GMC products. Functional first but a bit more premium than Chevy stuff, if your definition of premium is slightly thicker and more durable. Some of the terrain's approximately 350 pounds of weight savings over its predecessor were achieved in the seat frames, but you wouldn't know it by sitting in the comfortably firm front buckets. GMC says the multi-density padding helps this cause, although note that those looking for significant side bolsters will be disappointed. Even though the new terrain's wheelbase spans 5.2 inches less than before and it's 3.2 inches shorter overall, rear passengers lose only 0.2 inch in legroom. We couldn't really detect that, but we can confirm that two adults can survive long trips in the bench-like rear seats without the aid of the muscle relaxers. It's the cargo room that took a hit from the resizing, with space behind the second row seat shrinking to 30 cubic feet from the previous model's 32. Offsetting that somewhat is that the flat folding front passenger seat now allows carrying materials up to 8 feet long, think dimensional lumber, not sheets, adding versatility the previous model lacked. The 252 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 and 9 speed automatic transaxle comes standard with the Denali package, and rightly so. Quiet at idle, the engine transmits virtually no harsh vibration through the chassis. Before we set off in the urban environs of Pittsburgh, however, we had to deal with the terrain's controversial electronic shifter mounted low on the center stack. Composed of five primary buttons, P, R, N, D, and L, the last also serving as a manual gear selector of sorts, it's easier to use than it sounds. GMC's spin on the topic is that it's just another step in the march toward autonomy, but meanwhile, it's a distinctive if slightly inelegant way to free up console space while ensuring that operators pay attention when selecting the proper function. We were effortlessly performing three-point parking procedures by the end of the first day. On the broken, winding, and looping back roads near Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water home is where the terrain revealed its best-kept secret. It's not a total drag to drive enthusiastically. The linear electrically assisted power steering comes by way of a rack mounted motor, sending orders to Hankook Fen to zest one noble two tires on 19 inch aluminum wheels. GMC claims the chassis is stiffer and that it resists flex with aid from solidly mounted front and rear subframes. That means metal to metal mounting leaving isolation chores to the suspension components and their own mount stop. The brake pedal is firm, General Motors engineers telling us they focused on calibrating for brake pedal force rather than travel to regulate clamping effort. The first bit of pedal travel, 
say the engineers, moves a massive amount of fluid to position the pads right up against the rotors, and from there mechanical leverage kicks in for more aggressive situations. What it means for the driver is light footwork and predictable results in situations where you want to scrub off just a touch of speed before a corner. It's easy to focus on the performance of the 2.0 liter, but GMC expects 60% of buyers to opt for the standard 170 horsepower turbocharged 1.5 liter in line 4 and just 10% to choose the 1.6 liter turbo diesel, which makes 137 horsepower. We snagged a Terrain SLE with the 1.5 liter for a quick jaunt and found some not so shocking results, it feels very similar to the 2.0, but slower. The ride is a little less refined, as the SLE lacks the Denali's specific chassis tuning. Also, the audio system's 6 speakers lack the Bose logos and sound quality of the Denali's 7 speaker unit. The stance on painted 17-inch wheels wasn't as purposeful as the Denali's on its 19-inchers, and the climate control was manual. None of this significantly degraded the driving experience. The 1.5 shares the 9-speed auto with the 2.0, not the case with the Equinox, where the 1.5-liter models get the old 6-speed, but the lack of hustle was pronounced. We'll find out how much slower the 1.5 is when we get the opportunity to strap test instruments to each version. As for the diesel, no one outside of a small segment of torque obsessed pickup owners buys into compression ignition expecting to burn rubber. Most are drawn by fuel economy. In the terrain diesel's case, the official EPA highway estimate is 39 miles per gallon, FWD, it's 38 miles per gallon with a WD. That's a full 11 miles per gallon better than the FWD 2.0 liter and 9 better than the FWD 1.5 liter. At current fuel prices, the $2,395 upcharge for the base diesel, a front-wheel drive SLE model, would require more than 130,000 miles to break even versus a comparably specced SLE 1.5T with the driver convenience package. Assuming both models achieve their advertised highway economy over that distance, it's most diesel like at idle, although even then the clatter is somewhat subdued. Acceleration is steady but not helped by being teamed with the old 6 speed automatic. If you're a diesel lover, it's likely you know what you are looking for long before you hit the showroom. We were disappointed to learn that this diesel, like the 1.5 liter gas engine, is limited to tow just 1,500 pounds. The 2.0 liter is rated to tug up to 3,500 pounds. GMC mixes up the available features, powertrains, and four trims, SL, SLE, SLT, and Denali, extensively. Additional pricing specifics can be found here. The 2018 terrain finds itself in the enviable niche of being able to focus on pleasing dedicated fans without bearing the entire brunt of the development cost. Sometimes it pays to be a supporting member of the cast.